All right, time to see what the lads are suggesting here on Discord. A Fallout lore test? Well, I think I can do that. Okay, as it was suggested, I uh, googled Fallout lore test and I uh, got this quiz here. I'll have the link in the description. So let's just jump right into this bad boy. First question is, what is the most common form of currency in post-nuclear America? Uh, I'm definitely going to have to say bottle caps on that one. Um, does that mean I'm right? Green mean I'm right? Well, okay, so what does special stand for? Well, uh, that stands for strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. On to the next one. Question three. What was the purpose of the vaults? Experimentation on people. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, uh, they did, I mean, they housed people. What is the perk that causes enemies to die in a much more gruesome manner? Bloody mess. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, does that mean I'm getting them right? What is the most robust type of armor in the wastelands? Well, I'm going to have to say power armor. Maybe it tells you what you got right at the end. What becomes a major power source in Fallout? Nu uh, nuclear energy. Okay. In the first game, why was the Vault Dweller sent out into the Wasteland? Well, that was uh, to get the water chip. So what do we got down here? Uh, water chip, to find a water chip. There we go. In what year did the bombs fall? Well, 2077, of course. Okay. And so far, so good, I think. What strange ingredient was put into Nuka-Cola Quantum prior to the Great War? Um... Powdered fetus. Radioactive isotopes. Powdered fetus is the best answer I've ever seen. Radioactive isotopes. Which variant of Nuka-Cola causes one's urine to glow for a week afterwards? Well, isn't that quantum as well? It's just weird because quantum was the last, like, answer, so it makes me feel like it's not. I'm going to say quantum. Okay. How long did the Great War last? Not very long at all. Two hours, if my memory serves me correctly, and that is a suggestion, so there we go. What triggered the Great War? That would be the energy crisis, and I'd love, I would, I would love to see a follow game set during the energy crisis. What evil group is comprised of remnants of the pre-war United States government? And that'd be the Enclave. What causes people to turn into super mutants? FEV, forced evolutionary virus, right there. There we go. Who is responsible for creating the sense in Fallout 4? The Institute is definitely responsible for that. Looking at the choices here, they're definitely the ones I would go with. Which faction is modeled after an ancient society? That'd be Caesar's Legion. Who shoots the player character in the head at the beginning of Fallout New Vegas? That would be my main man, Brenner. <laughs> what creatures can live much longer than a human due to radioactive exposure? All of them, right? Ghouls, I guess, since you're talking about humans. But like all of them, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Well, ghouls. Generally speaking, who are the Brotherhood of Steel sworn to destroy everyone? Uh, mutants, uh, especially by the time we hit Fallout 4. Okay, which raider group is known for their love of dynamite? That'd be the Powder Gangsters uh, from the old Mojave Wasteland. What is the name of the portable nuclear warhead launcher seen in the game? Well, that would be the Fat Man. Is that one made out of Legos? But yeah, I mean, my answer is clearly going to be the fat man. But if that's made out of Legos, that's very fucking impressive. Maybe it's not. I don't know. What is the name of the aerial transport vehicles used by the Brotherhood and the Enclave? Uh, I love them. Vertibirds. I love the way they look like dragonflies in Fallout. Which faction is centered around Elvis impersonation? The Elvis boys. The Elvis boys. The It was, it was the kings, but I like the Elvis boys. They should go with that. In Fallout New Vegas, which group broke out of the prison? That'd also be the Powder Gangers. So, bada bing. Okay. What is one of the primary goals of the Brotherhood of Steel? To acquire Lost Tech is definitely going to be my answer there. Why did House want the Platinum Chip so badly? Well, it was to upgrade the Securitrons. It contained an OS upgrade. Yeah, there we go. Who is the voice actor for the character of Benny in New Vegas? Well the man the myth the legend that'd be matthew perry what's up next what do you got for me what is the name of this giant 
communist hating under the control of the oaks of the robot under the control of the we all know who it is it's uh liberty prime but i like freedom 4000 is pretty good too who started infecting people with the fev virus that would be the master back in the fallout one days good stuff which country was annexed by the u.s in the fallout universe that would be canada there we go what saved las vegas from destruction that would be robert house's missile defense system where was the one place boston was hit by a nuclear warhead uh, the glowing sea i suppose i mean that's the post-war name but all right sure that works what was the initial plan of the enclave when it came to post-nuclear survival oh they wanted to do uh, they wanted to populate a planet yeah colonize a new planet they absolutely wanted to do that why did the master start infecting people with the fev virus uh to help yeah he wanted to help uh, the people saved the wasteland, and uh, that way there was no racism. Uh, it's a great, <laughs> great excuse. What animal did the Death Claw evolve from? That's chameleon. Easy peasy. Jackson's chameleon, actually, to be precise. The creature, uh, what cre that is a Night Stalker, rattlesnake, and a coyote. What is the flag of the New California Republic? That's a two headed bear. What do we got? Who were the first members of the Brotherhood of Steel? Uh, members of the U.S. Army. Yeah. Most of the High Elders of the Brotherhood of Steel are descended from which man? That'd be Roger Maxson. Final answer. Which Raider group is best known for Kim production and trading? Well, that would be the cons. They even show the cons in the picture, so it's like kind of kind of telling you who it is. What is the name of the cheap coin-operated fallout shelter seen in Fallout 4? That'd be the Pulowski Preservation Shelter. I like uh, dollar shelters, so that's good. When was the first Fallout game released? 1997. How did Robert House survive for hundreds of years, hundreds of years after the Great War? He hooked himself up to a hibernation chamber and integrated with a computer. 100%. He was not actually a robot all along. Which country was not dissolved in 1991 in the Fallout universe? Well, I mean, a few of them, but I'm going to go with the USSR since, you know, <laughs> like they're comparing it, it sounds like. Who fought at the Battle of Anchorage? Well, that would be China and the United States. To avoid controversy, what was the Fat Man renamed in the Japanese versions of the Fallout games? I believe it was Nuka Launcher. Final answer. In 1969, the 50 states were split into how many commonwealths? That would be 13. Easy peasy. Brush up on your history, folks. What did scientists fail to develop in regards to computers before the bombs fell? Well, the, the tra yeah, miniris uh, mineralization. God, I can't say that. And the transistors. That's like the thing that makes Fallout Fallout. I love... It flash freezes it in the 1950s. I love it. Given 100 years, what does House want to accomplish? Space travel. What happens to super mutants as they age? Mm, I believe they get bigger. I'd, I'd, yeah, I'm going to say bigger. Okay, let's see the results. 100%. I'm going to have to take a harder one than this. This one was way too easy for me, man. So if there's any suggestions you guys have for follow-up quizzes, hit me up with them. This was just the first one on Google. Uh, but I'm going to have to say I, I passed with flying fucking carpets, boys. Easy peasy. So hit me up with more if you want to if you want to see me do another one. And let's get in to the shout outs for the video. These are people that pledge five dollars or more to the channel and super support me. And I really honestly can't thank them enough. Every time I do these shout outs, I just think of how fucking lucky I am that I have people that want to support me doing something I love doing and allow me to support myself while I'm doing it. So let's run off these people right now. Give them a big old shout out. We got on Patreon, EMZT Radio, Combat Carl, Bob Hunt, Stephen Carter, Clay395, Jay the Jungle, Hoppinsada, Edgy McGee, Lisbeth, Squiggles420, Genetically Engineered Panda, Nathaniel, and Skylar Masterson. On YouTube channel members, we have James Starkey, your meme dealer, Neometer Gaming, Mr. Fantastic, Cypriot Fox, Drongo Dingo, Shiny Espers, Keckley, Just Just 55, Cadenza, Kim Jong Un, Samson Incorporated, Server Lols, Genetically Engineered Panda, Lisbeth, Coffee is Good, Bob Hunt, Skull and Suit, Sean Johnson, Combat Carl, Mark Train, Nero, Mark 05790, Jay of the Jungle, Triumph, Matt Jordan, James Medor, Clay395, Corbin King, Kyle S, and Nightlet Incorporated, TKS Gimper, 
and Fire Flare. And for producers of the channel, we have Triumph, Just Just 55, Sorry Boy, and Kim Jong Un. As for executive producers, we have Mr. Fantastic and Jay of the Jungle. And don't forget those Hall of Fame homies, Nero and Fire Flare. Thank you all for the support. Thank you all for watching. I love you very much. It has been Mantis. Uh, I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day you die, you gon' trust the sky. You gon' trust the sky, baby girl. Testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day you die, you gon' trust the sky.